From the very beginning, the asphalt industry has faced challenges. Viscosity, workability, low temperature cracking and fatigue, high temperature rutting, fracture toughness, premature failures, and more. All problems roofers and pavers deal with on a daily basis. It doesn't have to be that way. Three Path Technologies was founded upon the concept that it is possible to make asphalt better. Through innovation, research, and extensive testing, our global network of scientists engineered additive solutions tailored to these problems and continue to develop novel, effective, and easy-to-use new ones each day. Used individually or in combination, Three Path additives build the roads of tomorrow and raise the roof on performance and durability. Innovative, impactful, cost-effective. Solutions that also prove sustainable practices are the answer, not the exception. Products like Relixer, the industry's most tested and trusted asphalt rejuvenator. It allows contractors to incorporate higher levels of recycled materials. Since 2015, Relixer has been used to restore flexibility and damage tolerance, reduce stiffness, and improve workability and compaction in high recycled content mixes. Our extensive portfolio includes revolutionary polymers like PG Expand and PG Extend, versatile oils including New Mixer and Renewbit, and Three Coat, an additive that safely and effectively improves the moisture resistance of mixes. Save time, save money, save resources. Three path additives enhance both roads and roofs. Our roofing solutions generate real performance improvements and cost savings. Roofing material manufacturing is streamlined and the production process eased. Contractors realize similar benefits with a simplified, hassle-free installation and fewer callbacks. With global logistics and peerless technical support, our network of affiliates and support staff team with each customer to identify the right product and deliver your solution 24-7, 365 days a year around the world. Get the performance you need with the asphalt you have. Three Path Additives are the missing ingredient our customers keep coming back for. Products that work and service that is unparalleled. Stop settling. Three Path Technologies. Make asphalt better. Hello, and welcome to Street Path Technologies' technical session on Relixer Rejuvenator, the market leader in rap rejuvenation technology. Krishna Srinivasan, president and founder of Street Path, will start the session with an overview on Street Path's portfolio of technologies, followed by the main topic of this session, Relixer Rejuvenator. Following the presentation, there'll be a live panel discussion to answer your rejuvenation questions. Krishna will join Professor Hussein Bahia, Distinguished Professor and Director of the Modified Asphalt Research Center at the University of Wisconsin, and Mr. David Hardy, Senior Manager, Product Support and Development at Tarmac, which is a CRH company in Great Britain. I'd like to thank the organizers of the Eurofault and Eurobatum Congress for this opportunity to network with key experts in this industry. It is my pleasure now to introduce Krishna Srinivasan, Founder and President of Sripath Technologies. Thank you, Steve. Good morning, everybody, and welcome. Shripat Technologies develops, manufactures, and markets innovative additives to enhance the performance of bitumen for paving and roofing applications. We deliver excellence through technology. We focus on providing facile, versatile technical solutions for our customers worldwide. We are a responsible corporation and are focused on sustainable technologies. Shripath supplies a range of novel additives for paving and roofing applications, including rejuvenators, high temperature polymers, low temperature oils, and anti-strip agents. Today, I'm gonna to focus on Relixer an elixir to rejuvenate the bitumen in reclaimed asphalt pavement or wrap. Relixir is a specially formulated blend of renewable bio-based oils fortified with special additives to quickly penetrate and effectively rejuvenate the aged bitumen in wrap. 
Relixer rejuvenates wrap to create a reusable asphalt mix, which can be laid down on a road either as a wear layer course or a base course. Relixer allows the use of 25 to 60% wrap in your mixes, and in some cases, even 100% wrap. Relixer is the market leader in rejuvenation technology. Shripath's Relixer is effective in high wrap mixes at low dosing levels. It is a green product composed of bio oils. It's a free flowing liquid in under ambient conditions. It is compatible with a wide variety of bitumens around the world, has no VOCs, and is safe and has a very high flash point. In this slide, I want to highlight the impact of Relixer on several high wrap mixes. In mix 1, 1A, and 1B, both having about 45% recycled asphalt content, mix 1A has no Relixer, and mix 1B has 0.28% by weight of Relixer. Right away, you can see the improvement in low temperature grade from about minus 14 in the unrejuvenated case to about minus 22 in the rejuvenated case in mix 1B. And the viscosity is changed from 8,500 to a much more workable 3,000. And there are attendant changes in softening point and penetration. As you step down sequentially from mix 1 to mix 2 to mix 3, you can see the increasing amount of recycled asphalt content in your mix from about 45% to about 81 to 83% in mix 3. Mix 3B, which has about 81% recycled asphalt content and 0.9% by weight of Relixer, you can see the dramatic influence on viscosity of the extracted mix from about 47,600 to a much more workable 4,800, a reduction of about 90% in the stiffness of that viscosity related stiffness of that mix you can also see the effects in the low temperature true grade which changes from about minus six in the unrejuvenated case to about 20, minus 23 in the rejuvenated case with relixer here we're looking at the durability of mixes wrap mixes having relixer and you can see that with 30% wrap mixes with Relixer and 50% wrap mixes with Relixer, the performance is roughly comparable to that of mixes with no wrap. Here we're measuring ideal CT, which is a measure of fracture toughness or crack resistance of the material. And you can see that not only is the four hour age, the as processed and laid down material properties of the ideal CT, uh, quite comparable to that of the no wrap case for both the 30% and the 50%, but also the oven age sample, 16 hour oven age sample shows very comparable properties, the ideal CT index to the case with no wrap. It is possible to design with good rejuvenator and proper dosage recommendations. It is possible to design good mixes with high wrap content that are similar in performance to no wrap or low wrap mixes. Shripath launched the development after extensive lab tests between 2011 and 2014. Shripath launched Relixer, first sales in 2015, first commercial roadways in 2015 in North America followed shortly thereafter in 2018 in Asia, and soon in Europe and in the rest of the world. Trials are underway in several parts of the world. Relixer helps reduce mix costs. Relixer rapidly penetrates into and rejuvenates the bitumen wrap and forces more of the aged bitumen in the wrap to behave like a virgin bitumen, thereby substantially reducing the bitumen content of the mix. With Relixer, high wrap mixes can deliver anywhere from about seven to about 15% of cost reduction over base mixes, 
depending on the amount of wrap used and the prevailing price index. Recently, Relixer was approved as a listed rejuvenator by the Illinois Tollway. The Illinois Tollway is an arterial roadway, 16 lane through much of Illinois, and encounters very high traffic and quite severe weather conditions. And this article goes on to detail the collaborative effort between Shripath, between the tollway authorities, the contractor, university lab, and private testing labs to first design an effective mix in the lab that produce the properties suitable for the tollway authorities, and then almost a 2,000 ton mix lay down over a course of about six days on base course, on wear layer course, and on the shoulders. Relixer is easy to incorporate into existing operations, and the resulting asphalt mix is smooth, well coated, and is easy to lay down. Shripath's Relixer has been qualified and is being used today on many roadways in USA, Canada, and Asia, with, as I mentioned, trials soon occurring in many different parts of the world. Relixer can be introduced at many different points in your mix plant, either a batch plant, a pug mill, or a continuous drum operation. It can be treated directly to the wrap on the conveyor belt. It can be fed into the bitumen tank pre-dosed, or it could be fed into the bitumen line feeding into the mixed drum or the pug mill using a static inline mixer. It has a very low viscosity and ambient conditions, and more importantly, a stable viscosity over a wide temperature range that allows for very many different introduction points in your plant operation. Relixer is an innovative, environmentally friendly solution developed by the rejuvenation experts at Shripath Technologies. Shripath's Relixer product reduces dependence on virgin bitumen, it reduces dependence on fossil fuels, it reduces the need to mine for fresh aggregates, it reduces the amount of wrap destined for landfills, it reduces the energy consumption, and most importantly, it reduces the cost of the mix. It is tested, it is proven, it is used, and it is trusted around the globe. With Relixer, the existing network of roadways becomes the next generation of mines and refineries. Thank you very much for your attention. Please feel free to contact us to learn more about our product. I understand that there's some issues dealing with binder activation in RAP. What does, yes. that, exactly, what does that exactly mean and is this an issue? So as you uh, well, known, uh, well know, Steve, uh, asphalt in the ROP is an old oxidized uh, binder or bitumen, as they call it in Europe. And therefore, the term activation is to uh, make sure that the uh, rejuvenating or the recycling agent, like Relaxer, will uh, have the opportunity to diffuse inside the old uh, bitumen and uh, freshen it up in a way or re rejuvenates its theological properties. That process is well uh, described in many research studies uh, and it indicates that it's a time and temperature dependent. And I think uh, uh, Relixer is one of the additives that uh, is very effective because of its low viscosity to actually diffuse and activate the old binder. Thank you, thank you, Hussein. Uh, Mr. Hardy, um, what percent of your jobs do you estimate uh, use wrap and what is the average wrap content, please? In the UK, we're allowed to use up to 50% of wrap in uh, basin binder course layers. And where a plant's capable of that, we make the most use of the opportunity. We have gone higher with client approval but that's what's based in UK specifications and then surface layers, 10%. So if a plant can do it, we want to do it. 
Thank you, Mr. Hardy. Uh, as a follow-up to that, um, uh, from the standpoint of the uh, rap content in your mixes, do your customers know what those rap contents are? Uh, should they know? Should they care? We don't uh, tell everybody what the rap content of the mix is. It's a compliant mix with the specification. It's down to the customers to have a dialogue with us. The A lot of customers are asking for carbon footprinting of their products. They want to know how sustainable their products are, and that opens the dialogue with the customer. I see. Thank you very much, Mr. Hardy. Uh, Krishna, uh, in certain regions of the world, uh, contractors are only allowed to use RAP in the base course. What are their objections to use it in the surface courses? Thank you, Steve. Um, in general, um, Relixer has been used both in uh, base courses and in wear layer courses uh, throughout the world. So there are really no objections. Of course, individual jurisdictions uh, vary. Uh, but uh, from, from uh, a use standpoint of high wrap mixes, uh, they're suitable to be used both in, in base courses and in wear layer courses. Uh, thank you, Krishna. I see we've got some questions coming in um, uh, from Mr. Lobby. Uh, based, uh, and this is a question, uh, based on your experience with rejuvenators, where's the best place to add the rejuvenator? And what are the advantages and disadvantages of each? Uh, Mr. Hardy, could you answer that, please? A lot of it's driven by a practical approach. You've got to see what works with your individual plant. It's easy to, it's easiest often on a batch plant to dose the rejuvenator into the bitumen or on a drum plant inject it into the line. It's possible to pre-dose the rejuvenator onto the feed to the wrap as well, but it does depend on the plant configuration. So uh, often it's a pragmatic approach that has to work with your plant. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hardy. I've got a question here for, uh, for Krishna. Uh, in many parts of Asia, rutting is an ongoing unsolved issue. Uh, would relaxer take would relixer take care of this, and would it provide aging resistance or crack resistance for a longer period of time? Yes, Steve, that's a multi-part question. Let me try to answer the various parts of it. In general, uh, high wrap mixes uh, are are much better at rutting resistance because of the stiffness. Uh, uh, of the binder and the material. Uh, and before that, I should say, rutting is really an issue that can be addressed and must be addressed uh, uh, with, with proper binder grade selection, proper mix selection. But in general, uh, wrap, uh, high wrap usage does help uh, rutting. Where high wrap helps with rutting, you have a contrasting issue of high stiffness mixes, not having enough crack resistance, not having enough fatigue tolerance, and that is where Relixer comes in. Not only does it provide for an effective, balanced mix, uh, but it also provides for longevity on the roads through better resistance to, to, to cracking and fatigue. Thank you. Thank you. And a, a question for, again for you, uh, Krishna, is uh, from uh, uh, Christina Smith. Uh, what is the highest percentage of wrap that has been used with Relixer on a non-trial highway project? And where was that? We have had several projects. Uh, no, this is non-trial. These are all commercial um, um, pr um, roadways that have been laid down, all the way ranging from about 25% wrap to even 100% wrap in, uh, in the USA, in, in New York City, where there's a lot of uh, stopping, standing, turning, high traffic, uh, high climactic variation uh, type of situations. Um, and uh, while the 100% uh, case is, is, a, is a particularly challenging case from a, uh, from a manufacturer and a, um, a point of view, it can still be done depending on the local plant configuration. More commonly, it's in the 50, 60, 70% range that contractors are using today. Thank you. I've got a question here from uh, Mr. Tinsley for uh, Professor Bahia. Uh, how long, uh, and this deals with duration, how long is the Elixir product stable and effective in hot bitumen in regards to duration? Uh, Steve, I think I'm going to refer back to Krishna on this. We have not studied in our lab the storage stability of these materials at high temperature. However, we've had several samples that came from uh, Street Path uh, and had been stored more than a year. And we still see the effectiveness when you use them in the uh, uh, testing in the lab. 
But regarding high temperature, probably Krishna has more experience with that. Krishna? Thank you, Steve. Thank you, uh, Professor. Uh, just as a quick follow-up, uh, the, the Relixer product has a very high flash point, and so it is quite safe, it is quite stable, can be used um, in, in normal hot mix operation. Uh, obviously, it can also be used in warm mix operations. Uh, typical temperatures around the world range uh, anywhere from about 325 degree Fahrenheit for unmodified mixes to about 350, 360 degree Fahrenheit for modified mixes, for polymer modified mixes. And so uh, it certainly can uh, and does work in those situations. From a storage stability standpoint, typically these materials are made and stored in silos for you know, a, a few hours maximum and put down on roadways. Um, and there too, we have not encountered any issues. So it's quite a versatile, stable product that, that, can, that has seen the rigors of normal plant operation and normal uh, pavement laydown conditions uh, throughout the world. Yes, uh, I've got a question here for uh, Mr. Hardy. Um, has the rejuvenator been applied in the UK slash Europe extensively as yet? And how about other products? We're only looking at rejuvenating in the lab at the moment. Um, other products have been applied in the UK, but uh, it does depend on the amount of wrap in a mix quite often. Thank you. Uh, and a question for uh, Professor Bahia. Have you studied the chemical or microscopic impacts of rejuvenator on the bitumen's properties? Yes, in fact, we have. Uh, Relixer was included in a larger study where we used uh, uh, two other uh, uh, recycling agents. Um, uh, and the studies that we've done is, is based on the FTIR, uh, the, uh, uh, the infrared spectroscopy, and the inter interest was in seeing what are the chemical compounds and how do they change uh, unmodified as well as polymodified uh, asphalt. Now, these were really done only for, you know, uh, for, uh, uh, in, in understanding uh, what are the size of the molecules of the elixir and how do they change the balance within the asphalt binder. Uh, and, and therefore we studied it through the FTIR. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Um, and uh, I'm gonna ask uh, Krishna this question. Uh, how is the interaction between relixer and the polymers in polymer modified bitumen? And what is the swelling rate of the SBS? There is no in typical interactions between relixer and polymer modified bitumens per se. They have been used, high wrap uh, polymer modified uh, uh, situations have been used. There have been no um, reported or known issues. Um, and, and hopefully that answers the question. Thank you. I've got a question here, uh, Mr. Steger, uh, some very specific questions about one of the slides during the presentation. And I'd like to ask Mr. Steger to join us uh, after this presentation in our chat room, and uh, we can get into all the details about uh, loose, compacted, and number of hours of aging conditions. Um, got a question here uh, for uh, uh, Professor Bahia. In the case of a very hard wrap, almost black rock, pretreatment of the wrap on the conveyor belt is an option, but with Relixer, how long pretreatment time is required? So we actually had a study on this issue for the 100% TROP uh, project that Krishna talked about in, uh, for New York City. Our interest was in comparing spraying the relaxer as well as other uh, recycling agent on the ROP directly versus putting it in the, in the binder. The limited data we collected indicates that it doesn't really make a lot of difference in terms of the final performance uh, uh, of the mixture itself, you can add it, uh, spray it on the rock itself or the rock itself, or you can put it in the binder. Of course, in the case of 100%, you don't have a new fresh binder, so are forced to spray it on, uh, on, uh, on the rock itself. I'm gonna again, you. sorry, I'm gonna to refer to Krishna again because he, I think, witnessed several 100% ROP production and he can tell you how long they sprayed it. Uh, we tested the mixture after the spraying and of course the elixir did, uh, we could uh, detect the effect of the elixir in the 100% ROP. Back to you, Krishna. 
Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Um, I, I must, Steve, I must beg, because of confidentiality reasons, I must be circumspect about what I say about various, each individual customer. But in general, let me address this issue. Uh, typically, uh, as Professor Bahia noted, uh, the, um, the residence time, the penetration, or uh, the diffusivity of relixer into RAP is so effective uh, that um, uh, this was typically in a, in a uh, you know, in, in, in a matter of, of tens of seconds uh, that the wrap was sprayed on to, uh, that the uh, relixer was sprayed on to the hot wrap. Uh, obviously, the wrap had to be preheated uh, before feeding on the conveyor belt uh, and, and, and led into the mixer uh, for that. But it was a very normal operation. There was no unusual pre-soak times. Uh, fairly, con it was a continuous operation. Uh, industrial scale operation. So I let the viewers uh, um, uh, decide that. Yes, uh, unfortunately, uh, our time has expired. And I'd like to thank our panel. And uh, I'd like to thank our panel of experts for this opportunity to share the Relixer story. We have a short video coming up in a moment to close out the session. After this, please join the Exhibitor Street Path Technology chat channel for an extension of the Q&A session. Also, for more information on Relixer, Please join Krishna in that same channel today at 2 p.m. Please visit Shripath Technologies at their booth anytime to learn more about their product portfolios. Thank you for your time and attention. Relixer is a specially formulated elixir of bio-based oils, leading the industry in asphalt rejuvenation. Recycle and reuse higher levels of reclaimed asphalt and mixes with Path Technologies Relixer. Our proprietary additive can be safely and easily incorporated into existing plant operations, rapidly penetrating wrap particles and rejuvenating aged asphalt. By replacing aggregate and virgin asphalt with recycled content, our customers realize lower overall costs while also minimizing waste and keeping reclaimed pavement and shingles out of landfills. With Relixer, customers average 35 to 60% of wrap in their mixes, with some going as high as 100%. A sustainable solution is the answer. Commercialized in 2015, Relixer restores flexibility and damage tolerance, reduces stiffness, and improves compaction and workability. Tested. Proven. Trusted. Customers worldwide are turning the existing network of roadways into the next generation of mines and refineries with Relixer. As the market leader in wrap rejuvenation technology, Path Technologies Relixer is the solution to make asphalt better.